What is up guys? Welcome back to the shop. I know it's been a little while and I apologize for that. Been busy with snowmobiling and now training for a marathon. So been pretty busy and having a hard time uh, staying consistent with the YouTube content. I've decided that I don't think I'm going to just do strictly shop and tool videos. I think I am going to include some of my other passions like hiking and like 4x4 off-roading and that type of gear and stuff. So if you're into that, please subscribe. I appreciate all those of you that have subscribed. I'll be sad to see you go if you're not into that type of stuff, but just hang out because there will be a kind of an evolving door of content that I'm going to be doing. My season, or as the seasons change, my hobbies change and things I like to do change. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's hop into the, today's topic. This is kind of a shop uh, slash winter gear type video. So I've been rocking these Crocs. I got these for uh, Christmas um, the fuzzy lined ones and these are really sweet I normally have like the clogs that don't have the holes in the top uh, same also Crocs but I use those in the winter because you can go outside and your feet won't get wet but I found that no matter how much you try the back part still gets kind of wet and now with these having the holes in the top although the fuzzy part is nice it's kind of like wearing a slipper out in the shop um, it just isn't perfect so when you want to run to the store Without, you also look like a goob wearing these, but um, the fuzzy ones you also kind of want to size up. So if you're in the market for some fuzzy Crocs, just keep that in mind. If you're going to wear a sock with these, you probably want to go up a size. But I was looking for something that kind of combined this concept, but I, do, I don't want my foot to get wet, um, with something like this. So these neoprene boots. And these are just cheap ones that I have for shoveling off the driveway or... Um, they're not as thick, so you can kind of wear them in those shoulder seasons, not quite winter, not quite summer, like, you know, spring, fall, that type of situation. I'm in upstate New York, so we kind of have a lot of that mud season. We have like six or seven months of just brown mud um, every single year. So I want something like this, which normally something I would do a lot is roll these down like this so you can just slide your foot in and out easier because very rarely do we have much more snow than that. So if you need to have that full wet weather protection, you can put these up and then I'll go up to like mid calf, but roll these down. They almost just kind of cover the ankle, but I just run to the store a lot. Um, just whatever you need to do every day. So I wanted to get something that kind of crossed in between there. And this is kind of what I came up with was the extra tough uh, deck boots which I might just be behind on this, but I don't really know much about these. I never really had these before, but these are primarily, my understanding is made for fishing um, or like kind of boat uh, boat work and whenever you're gonna be on in, in and around water. That's why they're called deck boots. Um, they don't have the best traction, so you'll see that the cross hatching isn't quite as good. Um, Crocs, you know, are just whatever, but these work just fine in the winter. So I've been wearing these now for about a month um, and they're kind of my go-to whenever I need to just run out, even with just, you know, if you're wearing sweats, they don't look ridiculous with these. Um, if you're wearing more of like a khaki pants, these almost look like high tops. They don't look too bad at all. Um, and they keep your feet dry. As long as you're having decent socks on, they are neoprene. Um, but these, my understanding is you can wear them in the the summer as well you can wear them without a sock and they aren't too uncomfortable they'll just keep your feet from being all soggy and wet so i think that's really cool um so these are extra toughs so i just got the black version they were about 70 dollars. i think they were on sale when i bought them i'm not sure i think they probably retail for about 100 i wear 13 so i got a size 13 um the sole kind of came squished like it was almost like this if you could see that and that made it a little uncomfortable for the first two or three wears. It had to like push back down and now it's pretty good. Um, but they were a little tight through the midfoot. If you want something really kind of loose and will just kind of flop around on your foot just to have like a sloppy wet boot, more like this type of thing, then you might want to go up a half size or a size just depending on how big your foot is. Um, if you can try them on in a store, that'd be even better. I just live 50 miles from any major stores that would sell something like this. But I really like the two pull loops. You just kind of spread it open and you can slip your foot in. These have been really awesome. I know that some of you guys also live in the uh, winter winter weather uh, states, New York, uh, I don't know, Michigan, wherever, any of those places. So definitely recommend giving these a shot. I also saw the Huck brand, H-U-K. Um, I think that's how that's pronounced, Huck. They have what seems to be really good boots and they're about $50 
went on sale. So if you don't mind color, that would be something I would look at, but this was the only way I could get black ones in a timely manner for when I wanted these. I spent a lot of weekends driving up uh, to the north country, the Adirondacks, which is about five, five and a half hours. So these are like perfect for that car ride. You just slip them on, you can slip them in and off while you're riding in the car, just, you know, whatever. And they kind of get through all that slush and sludge. I wore these uh, for a snowmobile trip just last weekend. Got frostbite. It was minus 24 degrees. Uh, actual temperature was minus 24 degrees. Real feel was minus 48. So I got frostbite on my face. Um, and that kind of had me down and out. And I haven't felt the greatest. So I apologize for not uploading a lot. Um, I'm going to start doing more content, even if it is stuff like shoes and whatever. Um, everybody wears them for the most part. So I guess we can all relate on that. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Check out my next video. I'm going to do a video right after this one about uh, electric screwdrivers. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys.